All right, we're back. Oh, new package. And it got wet. It rained. What do we got here, kids? Hold tight. Works. The WG518. Uh, I got a story behind this one, kids. Works. Yeah, I got some, I got some works videos. Uh, well, this one right here, kids. <clears throat> Remember this blower? Well, this is my works blower. Great blower. Love this blower. Unfortunately, I had a bearing failure. Bearing failure, what happens? Uh, I don't blame works for it because I don't think they manufacture their own bearings. I could be wrong on that. But uh, the bearing failed, it seized. Life happens. Uh, checked my warranty. I was outside my warranty window by, I was outside of it. So I was like, well, maybe I can fix this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call works up and talk to them and see if they can give me like some information on like how to go about fixing it or how to go about diagnosing, you know, how to get the bearing out or whatever. And when I was talking on the phone, they were like, you know, they asked, when did you buy it and all that? I told them, and they were like, all right. And I, I kind of explained the whole thing. I don't want to go into the story of what happened. I just, it's a bearing failure. Well, long story short, the people at works were like, we got you. We're going to send you a new blower. And I'm like, really? I didn't ask for a new blower. They just said, we're going to send you one. They want to make it right. And I'm like, wow, blown away. Let me rewind that a little bit. I called works. They answered the phone. <laughs> First part, I, I forgot to mention that. They just answered the phone, which like, I was blown away. The person who answered the phone, they spoke a version of English that I understand. Amazing. Like, they were polite. They were courteous. <laughs> it was a good experience. Normally, it's not a good experience when you call uh, customer support for any company, but man, these, this company, they're not playing games. All right, but you'll notice this looks a little different. Unfortunately, what they told me was they no longer uh, had these in stock. I don't know if they're coming out with more of them. I have no idea, but they said, sorry, sir, we don't have this model, but we can send you that model. And I said, well, does it blow air? And they said, sure does. Not only does it blow air, it's got a vacuum and a mulcher and all this amazing stuff. We're going to look at it. We're going to open this up and look at it. And I said, I'll be honest with you. You don't owe me anything. I'll take whatever you want to send me. You know, like, that's great. I appreciate it. And I did. And uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. And I, works, you know, like I, my experience with works was always like, you know, you saw the infomercial and it was like, they got the music going and all that. And it's like, all right, whatever. I never really gave it much thought. Then I had a buddy had one of their chainsaws on a pole and I needed to cut a tree one time up top. And like, I was like, you can I borrow that, like that lame chainsaw of yours? <laughs> you know, Cause I just figured it was a joke. You know, it's works. I got the thing, the thing worked great. I was like, this is amazing. So I got that blower, that blower, other than the bearing failure, which bearings fail, is amazing. My dad got the same blower. It, his works great. He's got a smaller version. It works great. I'm telling you, it works. It's an interesting, like, business model they have. Like, they're like, they make tools. This is, this is my interpretation. I could be wrong here. They make tools for people who maybe don't necessarily have using tools as their primary thing in life. They make tools for people who have no choice but to use the tool. So they make them user-friendly. Is, is that a thing? I, mean, maybe I could be wrong there. But like their, inter their innovations that they have are kind of like, all right, that's cool. What do we got here? Let me pull, pull the first part out here. This is the this is this, this sucker blower attachments. Got that all stacked in nice, nice and protected with bubble wrap. Am I getting all this? Ooh, we got a... There it is. Let's get the, let's get the meat of the business here. Oh, there's the power head. Nice. Some more packing so it doesn't get damaged in shipping. There's the bag. And the owner's manual. So that's all looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we got it. They, they got an extra. The tip goes even finer. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, you know, in full disclosure, I'm probably not going to use the vacuum system because like the way it works for me is I use an electric plug-in vacuum to blow my garage out because I have the gas power two cycle ones that I use in the yard and to, to do the things. But like, if I run that in my garage, it sets my, I got, I got carbon monoxide detectors and those go off. And I just, I use it for like, I blow the dust out of my truck with the electric. Oh, they even had a, they even had a piece of, protection over the over the silk screening on the on the bag there so the bag it seems pretty heavy duty let's check out the zipper oh yeah look at that zipper yeah well, that's the real deal there 
This side has got like a waterproofing layer to it. This side obviously is breathable, so the air has supposed to go. I assume the way it works is the waterproofing side goes next to your body if you're right-handed. Does that make sense? Okay, it makes it more durable. What do we got here? We got off one and two. So look, it's just so easy. Like I've got a, I got a, I got a weed eater version. Oh, I'm like getting that thing open. You got a pry. Look at metal impaler. Look at that. Or uh, it, impaler impaler. This metal leaf chewer metal. Hear that? Let's look at this stuff. Take this part. Let's see if, if old L shoves can figure out how to undo everything here. We'll, we'll, we'll build this thing up. We'll build it up for the internet. Looks like I'm not even gonna read the instructions. How intuitive is works? Can a, can a person like me just open the box and uh, snap it all together? Yep, sure can. Look at that. It's like a bazooka. Like, uh, we understand it'd be like you, uh, you uh, push that thing forward, that flips up there, right? Pretty easy. This thing here, I guess, you just uh, oh, give the old snap on there, maybe. Oh, that was simple. Done. There's a vacuum right there, kids. Look at this. Looks like a, this thing looks like it's for outer space. Woo! Now, the other day, I was running my, my thickness planer. I could have used this to suck the wood chips up, I bet, because let me get this box back over here. What, 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 what does this thing claim that it does? Oh, I don't probably who will say. Here we go. Make sure I get this in here. 250 miles an hour, 400 CFM. Now, if I'm not mistaken, CFM is where it's at when you're blowing leaves. It's a blower mulch, er, sorry, blower vac mulcher. So vacuum, I probably could have sucked those wood chips up. I mean, they're shavings. Metal impeller, that's the word I'm looking for. Two speed. 16 to 1 ratio. Huh. How about that? How about that? Yeah, so I told the, I told the individual on the phone, I was like, and this was after the whole thing was done. We were, we were parting ways. I said, by the way, I've got a YouTube channel, and I got to say, your, your business, your, your, the company you work for is going to look pretty good in my video because I am blown away. Like, literally. They could have told me to pound sand, and I wouldn't even got mad because... It wouldn't have been an unreasonable thing to say because my item was, it was technically out of the warranty window. Not by a lot, but it was. But, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> they, 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 but the, what they said was, we don't like the fact that that happened to you. And we, and they, they, they wanted to make it right. That's so simple. That's, it's, it's, it's user for, okay, here's the hard part. Here, here comes the hard part. Can we get it apart? Oh my God, look how easy that was. I mean, how hard is it going to be to attach this thing? Can my brain figure out just by casually looking? It's a big dot there and a little dot there. I'm going to go with the little dot goes on this side. Ooh, that could be a fail. Hold on. Mm, there's that's a that's a that's a clickety clacker. That's the big side there. We're going to go, we're gonna go like this. How'd I do? Got it. In. <laughs> All right. See this stickers stickers on. It's a good looking unit. Unfortunately, I don't have any power over here. Oh, what a fail. I don't have any, I gotta have an extension cord. Oh, I, I do have a power cord, but like, unfortunately it's a triple. That's not gonna work for me. Oh man, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got? Think, 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 think. This is live, I don't edit, kids. Dun, 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 to the power of the internet. Oh, that's not gonna work either, is it? Nope, <laughs> I got that thing, that's not gonna work. Uh, well. We're definitely going to do some videos of blowing leaves. This is just the unboxing and the, you know, the appreciation to the company works. Because, they, like I said, they didn't have to do this. They did. And I can only, high praise. That's all I have is high praise for that company. Because, I mean, they basically said it shouldn't have done what it did. And they don't like the fact that it did that. And uh, I actually, you know, I'll, I'll talk about this too. They, I, I con they contacted me again after the fact, after this was all ordered. I talked to the guy. I don't know if he was like in tech support or whatever, but like they actually asked me, could I send this unit back? Because they want to know why the bearing failed. And I'm going to send it to them and I'm happy to do that. 
it was the, it was the top bearing. It doesn't matter. It just stuff happens, right? It just happens. But they stand behind it, so like, I mean, I might vacuum some leaves. You never know. Normally, what I do is I just blow them in the neighbor's yard, right? <laughs> So, I mean, that's 10 minutes, way too long, but special shout out to uh, the works company. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, am I happy my, my leaf floor broke? No, but am I happy that you took care of me? Yeah, yeah, I am. So that's cool. Cool looking uh, blower. This thing looks like it's from outer space. You know, it's like a bazooka looking. Uh, maybe I'll start sucking my leaves up. I don't know. Sometimes it's the right tool for the right job, but yeah, there it is. That's the uh, the WG five one eight. Stay safe.